Hey guys, Andrew from Simo Apps here and in this tutorial we're going to look at implementing a filter bar in your app. So you might recall in one of the previous tutorials we created a table view full of cupcakes and their sizes which was small, medium or large and we added a search bar up the top of this table view to be able to search for the cupcakes. So in this tutorial we're going to add an additional filter bar so you can filter based on small, medium or large and you can simply tap on those sizes to filter that table view. So let's get into it. Okay, so if you haven't already, download the starter source code below. This is from our search tutorial. As you can see the app here, we have a table view with cupcake names and their sizes and you can search based on a cupcake name. So let's add in a filter bar to be able to filter based on a cupcake size. So going to the code, you want to go to the view controller and in the view controller, you want to add UI search bar delegate because we, mean we need to access one of the methods the UI search bar delegate implements, which is when you tap on a filter bar item, we need to update the search results. Once we've done that in view did load, we need to add two lines of code, which is search controller dot search bar dot scope button titles equals an array of strings. First one be all, then small, then medium, and finally large for the different cupcake sizes we have. Then we'll do search controller dot search bar dot delegate equals self once we've done that we need to add in a brand new method which is going to apply to search so known as a function so function apply search it's going to take in a search text argument as a string and a scope as a string and we're going to set the scope to all if we don't get anything passed in. So what this means is if we don't pass a string into the scope argument, it will get set to all by default. So finally, we need to do if search controller dot search bar dot text exclamation mark is equal to blank. Then we'll do filter cakes equals cakes dot filter squiggly line. Then we'll do cake in new line. Let cake size equals, we'll do scope equals to all or cake dot size is equal to scope. Then we'll go return cake size. And finally, we need to add an else to this if statement here. So let's just take a look at that. So we've got those curly brackets, okay. And we need to add in another curly bracket down here just to finish off this filtering function here. Just space this out here and up here the search bar dot text should be two equal signs. I just made a little typo there. Then in the else we want to copy this line here to filter the cakes. However, we want to change the return cake size to return cake size and cake dot name dot lowercase dot contains and then in the brackets we'll do search text dot lowercase. Close off those brackets finally. And at the end of this, we need to do self dot table view dot reload data. So the first, in this if statement, what it's doing in the first block, if we haven't typed anything into the search bar, 
then do not use the search text to filter the results. Otherwise, for this else statement, if we have typed something into the search bar, then we also want to filter the results of the search bar. So basically what that means is this first if block here, if you haven't typed anything into the search bar, it will only filter based off those four options, which is all small, medium, and large. But if we have typed something to the search bar, the results will be filtered based off that all small, medium, and large, plus whatever you've typed into the search bar. So plus whatever you've typed into the search bar. So every time we type something into the search bar, or we tap on one of those filter options, it's going to run this apply search method here. So in this update search results, just get rid of all the old code we used. We are going to change it to do let search bar equals search controller dot search bar. Then we'll do let. It's kind of a bit funky, just give me a sec. All right, let selected scope. Equals search bar dot scope button titles exclamation mark and then we need to do an array which is the search bar dot selected scope button index so and then finally we do apply search. And in a search text, we are going to put search controller dot search bar dot text exclamation mark. And we also need to add in the scope argument, which is going to be selected scope. So essentially what this does is it will get whatever filter item you've selected in the search bar into the selected scope. So that's either all small, medium, or large. That's from the selected scope button index. And then we apply the search, passing it the search text we've typed into the search bar, which could be empty or it could contain something you've typed in, say red, and the scope you have selected. And we finally need to add one more function, which is funks search bar. And the one we want to get is this one here, which is selected scope button index did change. And what this done does is this function here runs when you tap on the all small, medium or large. And this function here will run when you type something to the search bar. So they both need to call this apply search, which will filter both based on that search bar from this function here and whatever you selected in the filter bar, which runs this function here. So this one is simple here. We simply go apply search. Search text is search controller again, dot search bar dot text, exclamation mark. The scope is the search bar dot scope button titles. Summation mark and finally search bar. Sorry, this one's meant to be selected scope. And the reason we use that selected scope in this function here is that it actually passes a reference to the one that's selected. This function here doesn't pass your reference to it, so you manually need to grab it from the search bar. So let's run our app now and take a look at that filter bar working. Right, so if we tap on this search bar, we can see we can filter small, which will only show small cupcakes, medium and large. 
We can also type in red, which will additionally filter on the search bar. If we go to medium, we have no red cupcakes in medium. Large, there's none. If we go back to all, we can see we've got a red cupcake. So that's how you add a filter bar to your app. If you haven't already, check out the search bar tutorial, which I'll link in the description below, because that gives you a bit of a background as to how the starting code in this app actually works. And you can download the completed source code for this app in the description below. And remember to subscribe for more tutorials.